Once upon a time, there was a big furry monster, and his name was Colty. Every day, he would go looking for a nice place to live. The expectations he was looking for were a big house, very spacious, and he really wanted to live in a red house because his favorite color was red. But then he saw this house. It was big and red, so like any other monster would do, he just walked right in. But no one was home, so he just looked around. First, he went into the kitchen. He saw a huge table, big chairs, and yummy, yummy soup. But he was not hungry. So he went into the living room. He thought the living room was so boring. And that's when he went upstairs. He said to himself, this place sure is big. But when he went upstairs, he saw a bedroom. So he went in. He saw blue walls and a red bed. He thought that the bed was for him. So he took a long nap. But when Colty woke up, he heard something. It sounded like a kid. And that's when the kid walked in to the blue room. But Colty is not dumb, so he hid under the big bed. About two hours later, the kid got up and started playing with his toys. But Colty was desperate to do the exact same thing. So he did. But when the kid saw Colty and Colty saw the kid, they both ran and jumped in bed laughing. Colty was so surprised that the kid was laughing. Hi, what's your name? asked Colty. My name is Jack said the kid. Hi Jack, my name is Colty. And so all night, Jack would be laughing and laughing because Colty was trying to eat his toes. But don't worry, it didn't happen. Then it was morning. Jack was worried and so was Colty because Jack had to show his mom and dad that he had a monster staying in the house. So they just went for it. Mom, I have something to tell you, said Jack. I have a monster. But Jack's mom and dad just laughed. Then Colty came out. But then something happened. Jack's parents weren't scared because they were the ones who got Colty. So after breakfast, Colty and Jack went to play outside. They had so much fun. Then they had to go in and wash their feet. But just before they could do that, Colty's tail swung side to side. Then something horrible happened. He broke his mom's favorite vase. So like any old parent would do, they kicked Colty out of the house. Jack was crying so much. But Colty and Jack had the biggest bond. So Jack slept in the rain with Colty until they both were allowed inside. A few days went by and Colty and Jack were outside sleeping when they heard a noise. It was just Jack's mom. When she came out, she had some amazing news. She said, you both can come inside now. So they both went inside and had some hot cocoa and Colty never broke a thing again.